What's up everyone, Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids and I want to do a little story time with you and uh, share an experience I had just a couple days ago. It's Monday today and last Thursday I was out, I was driving um, from being out somewhere back to my office at the church building where I work. I was going to meet my wife and my kids there and uh, I was on Route 1 in New Hampshire which around commuting time, you know, 4.30 to 6.30 or so, is pretty busy. Uh, it tends to be between 30 and 40 to 45 miles an hour in different areas on Route 1 and there was a lady in front of me and she wasn't Watch what was going on and she rear-ended a Ford F-150 so it was F-150 and then her little Kia Compact and then me so once I saw that happen and I heard the accident and I saw it happen and I saw some kind of smoke and steam coming out of the front of her car I hit my hazards put them on I stopped my car I was waiting to see what was gonna happen in front of me the F-150 pulls over into a parking lot that driver gets out and she starts looking at her car the lady in the Kia is just sitting there so I get out uh, I walk up to her car, I see if she's okay, any major wounds or anything, is she conscious? The airbags had deployed, she was conscious, she wasn't bleeding or anything. We talked a little bit, I told her, why don't you go ahead and turn your car off, she did that. Uh, I called, I got onto my phone right then and called the police, said here's where I am, here's what's going on, accident, no one seems to be terribly injured, and they were sending somebody out. Now in the meantime, there's cars backed up behind me, people are starting to honk. Uh, fortunately, there was a turning lane, so you got your travel lane and the other travel lane and then a turning lane in between, so people could go around us and go forward in the turning lane. And to direct them, what I had, I just took out my little EDC flashlight, my 511 light here, and you know, I was basically just waving people around to direct them, you know, come on around the accident. Um, so that's one thing that's going on. Then I think to myself, well, it's, it's definitely dark, and so I've got some reflective gear in the back of my car, so I go back to my car to grab that. And uh, what I wanted to get were some of these Nathan bracelets. They're like the old school snap bracelets, and they look like this. When they're on, you can put them on your wrist, your ankles, gives you a little bit more uh, reflectivity. And then I wanted to grab my 3M reflective vest. I got this one, I think an extra large so I could put it on top of a coat if something like this happened in the cold weather. Now the thing that was interesting was that um, I went back to the car, to my back seat of my car to grab this and I figured a couple things out. One is that I had the um, vest and the bracelets in a plastic bag. The vest was all uh, wrapped up nice and tight with rubber bands. The plastic bag was wrapped up all nice and tight with rubber bands. So it was very compact and good for packing, but as far as getting quick access to it, it's pretty hard to do. So, you know, I got my lower half sticking out the cars and reaching to the back seat and cars are coming around. There's not a whole lot of light and I'm thinking I want to put something reflective on, but I don't want to put myself in a worse situation by fiddling around with this. So I just stayed with my light, stayed kind of at the front edge of my car, directing people around with my flashlight. So eventually the police come, the ambulance comes, I go back to my car and um, I notice that I have my stream light spotlight in the back. And I could have just gotten that out and used it without blinding people. I could have just kept it pointing at the road and directed people around with a light that's way bigger and way more effective than this little uh, EDC flashlight. So here's the thing I just want to say. Heads up. Um, when you're in situations when you think, well, I'm just going to jump in and respond, I wasn't freaking out, I wasn't going nuts, but my preparations didn't help me as much as I wanted them to right then because my stuff was so nice and neatly packed, I didn't have quick access to it. So... Uh, you know, one thing I'm doing now is I'm keeping these Nathan uh, snap bracelets. I got one on my turn signal and one on my uh, windshield wiper, uh, you know, the little thing that you tap down to, to turn your windshield wiper on. So now if I need something, boom, I can take them out quickly. I've got my 3M vest now accessible immediately in the back seat. It's basically strung over my, um, my seat so I can just grab it, throw it on, and step out in a situation like that. Um, I have to remember, it's not even a matter of not having access to it, but I forgot that I had that nice big flashlight in the back. So, you know, in the, in the stress of the moment, I wasn't overwhelmed. I wasn't, you know, I didn't have adrenaline rush and I didn't have tunnel vision. But when you want to jump in and respond to a situation quickly, um, just be aware of things like that. You may have your gear nice and neatly packed, but if you can't get access to it, it's not a whole lot of help. That's the reason I actually first moved my reflective gear from my trunk of my car into the back seat so I could grab it, but it was so tightly packed in that bag, I couldn't get it quickly. So all this to say, heads up, you know, there's going to be situations where you might be able to help out and respond. Obviously, you got to be extremely careful if you step out of your car into a situation where there's an accident on the road uh, or something like that. But, you know, if you are going to engage and help people and you think, I got some gear that can help that happen, make sure that that gear is actually legitimately accessible to you. Um, and that's pretty much just my heads up. I just want to throw that out to you as food for thought. And uh, I learned something and I've adjusted my setup in light of that. So thanks for checking out the video and more videos coming soon. Take care.